We all know that AI is getting out of hand, and it is emerging in every industry, and 3D is not an exception. We have seen a lot of add-ons about AI in Blender recently, but most of them I would say they are not great, and I will keep it at that. So today, we have gathered for you guys some of the best Blender AI add-ons for Blender that you can use to work on your projects. So stick with us to the end, because some of these tools are gonna shock you. But before we start, I wanna let you know guys that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale which includes discounts on the majority of products like add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, just in case you don't know where to start, there is a list in the description of this video of some of the best resources of Blender. So, the first add-on we're gonna talk about is the most popular add-on so far, like the most popular ever, and it is the most revolutionary AI add-on for Blender. The add-on is called AI Render, and it allows you to render with stable diffusion inside the software. It works by rendering an AI-generated image based on a text prompt that you input and also based on the scene that you have on your viewport. You can access the add-on for absolutely zero dollars because it is a free add-on. And to use it, you just need to create a free account at Dream Studio, which is from the makers of Stable Diffusion. However, there is an alternative solution if you feel lazy and you don't want to create an account. You can just install Stable Diffusion locally. So the add-on doesn't stop just at rendering images because it can also render animations with the prompt you want and with all of Blender's animation tools. You can also animate stable diffusion settings as well as text prompts. Animation can also be used in batch processing, such as when testing out a variety of options for prompts or settings. Generally speaking, the add-on works well and it gives you results relatively quickly. Overall, I highly recommend it if you want to create incredible AI-generated images with stable diffusions and especially if you want to do that easily and without running any code on your computer. Another powerful AI add-on is called Stability for Blender, which is an add-on that allows you to use the power of stability inside Blender itself. If you are watching this, you probably know or have heard of Stability AI before, or at least some of the AI art generators. Well, this one integrates into Blender, enabling you to use it within the Blender workflow. This Blender add-on is available for free, so you can grab it either from the Blender market or from the developers page on GitHub. Now. The way to use the add-on is similar to any text prompt image generator. You have a field where you can input your text, you can also pick between multiple prompt presets like photography, portrait, watercolor, architecture, fantasy, comics, and so much more. You can also easily control the initial image type, such as a text-only prompt, texture, or animation, and the resolution of the generated image, in addition to other stuff of course. Right under that, you have the options that you can generate, which will change depending on the type. So you can adjust the prompt strength, pick a seed value, and so on. When you're ready, you can hit the dream button, so the AI starts generating your image. You can also see your balance at the top of the window. So the add-on is free, but there is a catch, because the Free Dream Studio account gets you 100 credits, which translates roughly to 500 images. Of course, this varies by type and the option of generated image, but this should give you enough to use the tool at least for a while. So you can find your generated image in the image editor. Now you can save your image to your hard drive, and for the texture generator, the process is really similar. You just write a prompt about the texture you need, for instance, seamless brick texture, and hit dream. To use the animation option, on the other hand, you're gonna have to have a sequence of images already in your machine to use as a source. We also have another add-on called DT2DB Bridge, which stands for Dream Textures to Deep Pump. This add-on will integrate itself into the node editor and offers a really easy way to use Dream Textures, with the added benefit of generating a height and a normal map automatically for your textures. Dream Textures is a revolutionary add-on for Blender, because it allows you to use stable diffusion and the power of AI-generated images right within Blender. You can download Dream Textures for a very small price, like $1 or so, and install it in Blender, and with this, you can forget about downloading textures from the internet, I mean to a certain extent. All you need to do is to give it a prompt or a request about what kind of texture you want, and voila, you got your textures ready. So if you want your textures to be seamless, it can do that. If you want more resolution, it can do that too. By the way, 
you need to have Dream Textures and Deep Pump already installed, which is a prerequisite to be able to take advantage of the DT to DB bridge add-on. Once everything is installed, you can find it in the end panel of your node editor. You can type a prompt or pick any of the common suggested tags. You can pick the resolution and you can either select or type your desired resolution manually. Under Deep Bump Maps, you can choose between Normal and Height or you can select both of them at the same time. Additionally, you can select other maps like Roughness and Metallic, but these two will be generated using color ramp nodes. And last but not least, there is also steps, which basically denote the number of calculations it takes to generate the image. Finally, you can hit Generate. This will first generate your albedo texture, and right after that, the normal map and the height map. Everything will be set up in the shader editor automatically, so you can easily adjust the intensity of the normal map and the roughness value. Talking about things getting out of control with AI, we have this tool called ControlNet, which is basically a handy script that allows you to use the neutral network ControlNet inside Blender, which is basically a network structure to control diffusion models by adding extra conditions. This is a game changer for AI image generation because it brings a unprecedented level of detail and control to stable diffusion. The revolutionary thing about ControlNet is its solution to the problem of spatial consistency, whereas previously there was a simply no efficient way to tell an AI model which parts of an input image to keep. ControlNet changes that by introducing a method that enables stable diffusion models to use additional input conditions that tell the model exactly what to do. So overall, ControlNet allows you to manage text-to-image diffusion models by including additional conditions, which improves the accuracy of the images that are produced. To use this tool, you will need the Stable Diffusion Web UI and Mikobi UI for ControlNet. And then you can copy and paste the demo code directly into your Blender scripting panel. Last but not least, we have Blender Copilot. This OpenAI ChatGPT powered add-on can basically create objects in your scene with text prompts, where you can input a full description of what you want and let the AI do its magic. From what we can see, it is still in its infancy and it can do really simple stuff. But there were a couple of add-ons that attempted this and Blender Copilot seems to be the best one so far. The add-ons interface is very simple because you have a field where you can input the prompt, similar to Dell E or Midjourney. So, if you guys are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.